don't forget to subscribe and press bell icon for new updated videos. Like and share videos with your friends. From this video onwards, we are starting with a new a uh, new topic that is email marketing. What is email marketing is you are marketing yourself with the help of email. Means you are announcing something, you are sending a response to email, you are subscribing something through email when you are playing out with the market with the help of email that is called as email marketing. So from this video onwards, we are going to learn in depth about email marketing. What is email marketing? Then how we are going to create templates, we are going to create campaigns, we are going to create groups and so many other features, integrated features, how we are going to put ads on Facebook and all those things. So in this video, we are basically going to learn all about email. See how you are going to send anyone, you know, a subscription, you know, uh, that uh, a validation of that thing then a welcome response to them or if they want to unsubscribe themselves then email to them if you are coming with a new offer or a new program then sending the email to them a automated service that you are going to learn here that is going to make your work more easy there are templates over here we are going to work on a website to render to get all these services that is mailchimp.com in the next video onwards we are going to learn how to log in in how to create an account and how to work on mailchimp.com so from this video we are going this video onwards we are going to learn all about email marketing in this video we are going to learn how we are going to move on with email marketing the first important step for email marketing is we need a website where we are going to actually work on email marketing so i'll tell you a site where you can work on email marketing that is mailchimp.com see go on google and just browse out mailchimp.com then this will the this will be the page that will appear in front of you now we are going to sign up for free because now we will not take any paid package, we will just sign up for free for now. After that signing up for free, you have to put your email ID, your username, your password and then you have to just sign up. So first we will put the email ID, we will put the email ID, username, password and then we are going to just sign up in. Okay, once you have entered your email ID, your username and your password, then you have to open your email ID, you have to log in into your email account, then you have to verify that account and then you will get this page. And now for now we are going to select this one, that is the free one. now you will see this page now you have to enter the first name over here the last name over here and then you have to put continue so you can put your first name last name and then click on continue okay guys once you now you have put your first name and the last name and putting continue now we are start now after clicking on continue we will see this page now what's the name of your brand you have to put it your name of your brand maybe i'll put tasty tongue for example, tasty tongue. Okay. After that, we are going to put. Now, what option do you have? Do you have a website? Yes. For now, we'll click on. Do you have a website? Yes, then we have to put the website name, but we'll click on no for now. Okay, then continue. After clicking on continue, you they are asking you the address like address line one, address line two, then city, then what is this? All this question. So you have to fill this first. So let us just fill this first. Okay after clicking on continue you will see this page now what is the question do you have any contacts i'll for now i'll what put no okay 
then i'll click on continue now what do you offer or plan to offer physical goods original content technology or software services other we can just skip this also okay so i have clicked on skip let's see what does this ask you are ready to go what to stay in loop with merchant subscribe to success story subscribe to merchant presence it's all optional guys i don't want to do all these things i'll just click on let's go after clicking on let's go lo let's go your page is already ready okay so your page is already ready now in this video what i have showed you how to put these all things how to enter how to create your account in this website that is mailchimp first google out mailchimp then put your email id your username and a password then you will receive a email go on to your email then just activate it then they'll ask you you are not a robot so click on it verify it then you'll get a verification code put it there then they'll just ask you first name last name and do you want any plan do you have a website so whatsoever you have done just put yes or no and put the information accordingly in this way your account has been created so just don't no need to worry so it is done so in this video we have done with making creating an account in mailchimp.com this video we are going to see how to handle our account and we'll also have a glance over the different paid packages now how we are going to go into your account page see on the right hand top side you can see your account here you have to just click on this arrow and click on account after that your account page is going to be opened okay okay now you can see you have a free plan now what do you have in this free plan firstly contacts you will get up to 2000 or uh, this 2000 email list till you get 2000 email list this pack is free for you then send send means how many email you can send to people it is 10000 a year so you can send 10000 emails to others okay so firstly you can receive 2000 email list and you can send 10000 emails till that it is free now let's scroll little down and also have a look towards it okay now you have seen this one now we need we'll also see the paid packages for that what you need to do is upgrade now click on upgrade now and have a look over the paid packages also see we are in this plan now let us go a little down and have a look to it see now you are having so many plans over here you are already given so many plans over here that is premium standard essential free and we are in the free plan you can also compare the features dc if you go your beneath you will see your see this will give you 500 contacts 500 contact 2 ka 1000 contact so these are all things that you are going to get in this one okay so you had a look over this thing like free plan seven marketing channels then all these things you are going to get in this free plan okay so now you had a look over it but we are going to go with the free plan because till now see for us for in the starting time for us it is good that you know you are able to get 2000 email list and you are also getting 10000 email to be sent to people so we are going to go with free plan for now but we also had we'll all see we had a look towards this pack also like recommended or uh, you paid packs also but we are not going to go through that paid pack but we had a look towards it okay so that's all about you know your free plan and your account details
So we are going to just have a look in the last video we had a look over the pla price plans in this video we will have a look upon the account and the profile if you want to edit your account if you want to edit your profile then how to do it then we are going to learn in this video how we are going to move on with this okay we'll get Firstly here you can see your your fully plans then then sends in we had talked about this free plan and how many emails you can send to others in the last video now we are going to go in settings and we are going to make some changes okay so settings first we'll go in details now in detail this is the detail page here you have your account name for example i put your tasty tongue then the time time zone if you are moving to another country then you can just change the time zone over here then the date and time let me let us scroll down date and time and currency format okay so you can change this edit information over here and there is nothing much over here so we will not go more beneath okay so in details what you can change your account name the time zone if you are moving to another country date time format currency format if you are moving to another country you have to change the date time format the currency format and then you have to save your click on save it would be saved now moving up again we'll go into settings we'll see another thing that is users now you will see your in users you will see that your name of your account then you will see find the right experts if you want some expert directory and all about this you want some help you want some seat limit then you can come here and edit over it in this you will see basically your account name and this all you know we are working with account and profile it is all about your account name your email id the number you have given so all we are working with this now okay now we will move up and we will go into we will go again into settings and we will see uh, the next see the next one now i have opened i have again gone into settings i have gone into settings and then i have clicked on security after clicking on security my security page will be open for example you want to create some more security things okay then you have to go into this page for example you want to uh, you know you have to put double security you want uh, some notification when anyone something fishy is going around you so if you want some things like that then you have to go into, into settings firstly you want to view your account details then what you should do just beneath or uh, beside your name you will see your arrow you have to click on that arrow you have to go in accounts in accounts you have to go in settings and in settings then you have to go in settings and you have to go in whatsoever that is security or which thing you want to actually work on with now i have gone into settings and in security so after clicking on to this account security you will see this page Firstly, we'll read go up onto the first head heading that is two-factor authentication. When you want to create dual security, you have to enable this one. When you enable this one, they'll also ask you for downloading an app. Then, after downloading, you have to put the authentication code, and then it's done. Okay. So, what you have to do for authentication? Enable this one. And then you have to download the app in your mobile and then you can just do it by putting on the authentication code now moving to moving down you have account verification see when you think something unusual means fishy thing is going around you then you can just enable this one so anything going unusual then you immediately receive an sms 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 means a text you will be received onto your mobile then verify identity with security questions if you want want to ask your identity some security questions then you can just enable this one also this is all about security first what you have a dual security option then you have something fishy or unusual going on then you can just enable this one and you want to ask some security questions then also you can enable this one now moving upon 
In settings, you also have an option called contact information. In contact information, it is same like the account thing where you can make changes on your contact information you have given. For example, your email ID, your username, whatever you want to change there, you can just do it. Your domain you want to change, your, you can do it in domain setting menu. Now manage my data. In manage my data if you want them to manage your data to save the data to back up your data then this is the thing where you have to go again in settings and in manage my data export my data if you want to export your data then you can just do it from here if you want to back up your data your backup build my backup click on it and then if moving down if you want to data analytics settings then you can just do your data analytics setting if you want to include my data in mailchimp state data analytics projects if you want to save it there also then you can just click on this so this is all about our account information firstly we had gone into see what you have to do firstly you have to go in this one and then click on account account then you will get this page where you have to click on settings details you can change the details like a username everything users you can see the users if you in want to invite some users you can just invite user click on invite user security for dual security for something unusual going on then you want to receive a sms then this contact information want to change your contact information then this domains then this manage my data then this or if you want to delete your data if you want to delete your data then be, uh, below manage data you have an option called delete account if you want to delete your account then it is the option of deleting your account so these are all options that we have learned now in account so what we have to do here you have to go and click on accounts and you can just make the required changes so this is all about account information video i'm going to tell you if you want to put the mailchimp signature in your email then how you are going to add this thing see firstly what you have to do is go your end profile and then then you have to go into this extras in extras you have to put referrals okay now you will see a option given there about they are you know see you'll get your email campaign baggage and this if you want to change the image just click on this and select the or required image select the appropriate image that you want to put the signature of the baggage now how i'm repeating it once again you are going to go here in profile and then in or uh, extras you are going to click on referral and then you are going to select the required uh, signature that you want and then just change the image and click on it and then it's done for example you want to put more amount of this so you can just go in billings and put monthly plans or credits for more emails if your plan is your if your plan is free and you're not able to give more if you're not able to send more emails and more email lists then just go here and update your update your account so in this way you can just update your account you are currently in a free plan i even have taken a free plan you can just change the plan from here and you can take the required plan you want to take okay that's all about how you are actually going to create and sign up you know if you want to put in sign up for you know even here you have an option let me go again here here you have an option of email and sign up form you can put your this signature of this let me just go little up yeah you can just go here down and then you have an option here this email campaign baggage is this or signature is for email and this signature is for sign up form so you can select appropriately for email and for sign up for if you want to change then you can just go and change it from here if i want this one i'll take this one if i don't want this one then i can just click on this one so accordingly for email if i want i have taken for email i have taken this one and for sign up form i have taken this one so according accordingly you can change a chair or you can just 
change the image and take the required one. So in this way, we have added signature to our email and sign up form. Video is very important because we are moving on to a very important concept that how you are going to create email and how you are actually going it to going it to send to your customers, to your audience, to your subscribers. Okay, now just let dive into it. So see guys, whenever you install or whenever you go to any website, you visit any website, then see all the options where they are giving what. See, for example, some of you will see the list option directly here above, but I am not able to see this over here. But I will see this create option here. So I am going to create option and go in email. So your one thing you can learn is whenever you visit any website, just go through all the options and understand what the website is giving to us. So we can utilize it to all its end. So firstly, I'm going to click on email and then this page is going to appear. Now here I'm putting my campaign name, maybe tasty tongue for now. I'll put it. You can put anything for your business name or what is your campaign about on your campaign name. Okay. And I'll click on begin. And now I'll see a page or email page that I'm going to actually start editing upon. For example, after putting that, I think I don't want this edit, uh, this name as my campaign name. Then I can just edit this name from here. Clicking on edit name, I'm going to click edit this tasty tongue name. Now moving down to whom you're going to send it. Add recipients. See, I don't have any recipients for now. So I'll cancel it because I'm just teaching you guys how you're actually going to do it. So we will just cancel it now and we'll just understand what it is giving. First, in the later videos, we are going to actually create an email list and we are going to send it to them. But for now, we'll just understand and keep a ready material that is an email for us that we're going to actually use to send others. Now from, that is add from, actually it is us okay you can just add from and you can put your name here you can put your email address here whatsoever and you can just edit it see from from maybe you know from tasty tongue or from your email address and you can put your email address here now we'll cancel it you have to put this to from and subject subject see whenever you are put clicking on something they are giving you some guidelines also See in subject you will see add subject see how your recent subject line performed a great subject line gives the audience a reason to open your email so why subject is necessary through subject your audience is going to know what your email is all about and you should have a great subject line so that your audience will take an initiative to open the email and to watch what actually content is given to them so what is going to actually let them open the email that is your subject line so what are the guidelines for it try to use no more than nine words we are not going to use more than nine words no more than one emoji we have the option of emoji but we are not going to actually use it because we'll show a formal uh, email so we'll try to not add emoji avoid using more than 60 characters avoid using more than three punctuation marks so we'll not put more than 60 character not more than three punctuation marks and in this way we are going to actually design our uh, this subject line okay preview text that would be seen below the subject line and you can just save it after doing anything you have to just remember to save it now i'm canceling it for now let's just go a little up and see now we are done with subject now the main content comes the content is the most important thing because it actually contains the main important content the main body of your email is this content so we are going to design it design email we are going to click on design email and then we'll get some templates that we are actually going to work upon there are some ready-made templates or we can choose the normal email also uh, email template and we can work on it now let's see we'll select a template let's see which one 
See, here you have sell product. If you want to sell a product and you want to sell, you want to uh, give them or uh, send them or uh, email, then you can use this one as your template. If you want to make an announcement, then you can use this one. If you want to tell a story, then this one. Follow up, then this one. And if you want to educate them about your new product or new topic, then you can just use this one. So already there is ready made. See, here there is no more work to do. You have to just edit it just remove the text they have given put your one remove the image of this and put your image and everything is done but if you don't want to go through this then you have an option here of going through the basic one like you have a option of putting your image your a column your a logo your the subject this is the subject line then this is the images two contents two columns and if you want to use full width then you can just use this one where you are just actually writing out everything you don't want to put any logo pictures if you want to put three pictures if you want to put two pictures if you want two pictures and differentiation if you want two pictures and no differentiation between them then accordingly you can use this one so this is all about changing and selecting a uh, temp uh, selecting a template you want so I think for now you can just select this templates feature templates and just move on to it but now we'll not I'll not select any template because I'm just telling you guys so I'll not select any one of them and I'll just move on to the back okay so in this way we have created a email and the main important thing for us was uh, that the main content and we have actually done the content part we had selected a template see I have not done here I have not created any content here but you are going to create it I am just teaching you for now so I have not created any content but you actually have to do this now if you want to share your campaign through links you can just take copy this link and share it but if you don't like this link then you have an option of editing this link also according to your choice and preference but this is a paid version so we are not going through it we leave it as it is and now if you want to post this social cam if you want to post this camp on social media also you have an option here of or just posting it so you can just do it from here also from Facebook Twitter Instagram now for that you have to connect your Facebook you can just click on this connect Facebook and you can connect your Facebook account and you can just share it from there also in this way you are done with designing your email now you can schedule it you can keep some time overs. you can schedule it to whom you want and for sending it you can just click on send now we have not actually created so i'm not able to send it and schedule it but after doing all this required things you can actually schedule it in intervals and you can send it also but now we are not having an email list so we are not going to do it i have not done it but i have taught you in detail how we are going to actually work with it but for you can i'll do it once again i'll tell you once again what all we have done in this video that is firstly we can edit name to from and subject to means whom we actually want to sell or send that is recipients now we have we don't have any recipients so we are not going with it add from and add subject and design your email and then for photo you can also add your social media links now we are done with doing this then you have to save it and just send it and then your email creating is done that's all about creation of an email in the last video we had created our email now how to add subscribers so in this video we are going to learn how to manually add subscribers firstly if you have the list option in the menu itself then you can just click it there and add a subscriber but if you don't have it just no need to worry then what to do just click on audience and then you will see view contact here I'm having one contact and one of them are subscribers I'll just click on them and then I'll be able to manipulate with my contact 
or you know subscribers if i want to add it see what is this toggle columns i'll tell you later first we'll just add a subscriber okay now we are going to add a subscriber here for example wait let's just let's just scroll down see your can you see email address is the most important one you have to give it see your star mark and others it's not necessary for example i am putting a xyz at xyz at the rate at the rate gmail dot com for example i am putting this okay here i'll put my name again xyz i'll put last name abc all this is all not needed i'm not putting the uh, like address e on address what do you need street address address line 2 the city the state you are in the postal and the zip code and whatsoever it may be usa then if you want to change it then you can just make the required things okay for now i'm just leaving it i'll keep it usa only phone number you can put your phone number it's not mandatory then that is birthday and tags add a creator tag if you want to add a tag you can just add it over here add to create a tag whatever tag you want to put so just till 100 100 letters you can put a tag now you can just click on subscribe now you are subscribing this manually you are not subscribing this automatically this is manual subscription how to watch this what subscription people have actually added how many subscribers we have added go into manage contacts view contacts see guys now you would be able to see your they are email address first name last name address phone number birthday tags email marketing source all of them so you would be able to see that information now what if you want to just you know toggle columns means you're toggling the column like first name last name you're removing it you are adding something then it is toggling com columns you are uh, little changing their uh, uh, changing their uh, you know list then it is toggling column so this is all about how to add see go into add contacts and add a subscriber then in the largest put subscribe then if you want to see come again into manage contacts and just see that it is added or not that's all you have to ju do just for adding a subscriber so now i have manually added a subscriber later on we'll mo move in more depth for now you try this thing add a subscriber a dummy subscriber xyz whatsoever any put any uh, you know whatsoever email address and just do it then it will be done so it is so easy to just add a subscriber for now we have added one subscriber in this video last video we had learned how to add subscribers manually but practically speaking is it possible while running a business you can go practically and add one by one subscribers so practically it is not possible so what is the solution to this problem just no need to worry guys see if you have a email list on csv file or your your excel sheet or maybe your google drive account google contact account then you can just upload it from there or copy paste it from there so it is very easy so i'll tell you the solution to this problem to add directly all the subscribers at a glance okay so if you have email list if you have list option in the menu just click on it and then click on import contact if not then go into audience and then go over here manage audience and click on import contacts okay so here you have four option resume previous import the last uh, subscriber you have added same like that csv that is a csv file if you have you can upload it copy paste from file that is from excel or maybe your calculator so 
you can copy paste from your file or integrated service what is integrated service if you'll click on integrated service then you'll see your option here that is google drive google contact constant contact zo so if you have a account google drive account or google contact or any one of this and your file your subscribers list is added over there then you can just click over here and upload that file by selecting that file okay that's it but now i'll tell you a way where we have created a email list on excel okay if you are having an email list on excel then how we are going to do is is first click on this copy paste from excel then you have to do is click on continue option at the right bottom okay now here you are going to paste your contact information so you need to go to the excel file now we'll go to the excel file and we'll just copy it from there okay okay guys now i have opened my excel sheet where i have made a dummy email id first name and last name you can add over here as the phone number then the address and so on you can create a list of the contact information but for example for giving a dummy example i have created only i have written only email id first name and last name that also dummy names okay so let's work on it firstly i'll click here then i'll click on control plus a because i want to select the whole thing after clicking on control plus a i am also going to click control plus c to copy it and then i'll go to my website over here and then i'll click control plus v or i'll right click and then click on and then i can click on or uh, just right click and then i can click on paste so it would be done so just no need to worry about that it is very very easy and now what you can do you have to click on this i understand that my billing pay plan may be automatically upgraded see when this list exceeds 2000 that is 2001 when it will become to that number then this plan would be updated so you have to pay for it so you have to click on this after clicking upon this you will see your option over here that is continue to match at the right bottom then clicking on to continue to match you have got many options over here okay like different things okay now you want it you don't want it i'll just remove this one thing edit if you want to click on edit i'll save it save it okay i'll skip it edit i'll save it okay save it okay then i'll click on this also and i'll save it okay okay now i am going to click on this and what i am going to select your was last name and then i am going to save this thing okay now it is saved now i'll click on next okay now continue to organize i'll click on at the right bottom tag all contactors if you want to do it you can do it but i'll not do it suggested popular tags newsletter new this all things are there you can just go on to it and see what is there see update existing contact update existing contact if any imported contacts are already in your see what is this option giving you see if you are putting the same thing like for example while writing the subscribers you have made a mistake 
or they are getting married or they have changed their name so if you want to change it then you can just click on it and put it over there so if it is matching then it would automatically change the surname or whatsoever it is but yeah you can click on it now why you want them now this option is why you exactly want them choose status of these contacts now what do you want these people should be your subscribers do you want to unsubscribe them non subscribe them and clean up them non subscribe contacts have an opt in to receive your email marketing campaign but can receive transaction emails from your store you can also market to them through ads and postcards so you will unsubscribe them from emails but they will be there for they'll receive an email from transactions and other postcards and all their ads okay unsubscribers means completely unsubscribe subscribers means subscribing them non subscribers means no email but they'll receive a email when they'll uh, give a transaction or to any ad is there or postcard they'll receive it and to clean them up you also can clean it okay but we'll click on subscribers only because want to we want to add them as the subscribers now click on continue to review on the right bottom okay import method copy paste import three of three status of contact subscribers whatever we have done is showing here update existing contacts okay now click on import to the right bottom now it would be just done now can you see guys that see the email address has been added x y x y z p q r the next y z p q r x y z p q r then i have not put their address i have not added their phone number i have not put any birthday dates i have not put any tag so it is empty i have put them as my subscribers so subscribers source list import from from where we have imported okay so in this way we are going to add all the subscribers directly without doing any manual one by one subscription so in this way we can just do it directly see what we did we first had gone to the audience and then in manage or contact we had gone to import contact in import contact we can choose either csv file if we have a csv file then if you want to copy paste from excel or anything then we can just click on copy paste and copy it from there and paste it over here then the next option was if you have a google drive account or if you have a google contact account zo work online account then you can just and it is uploaded over there then you can just go click click on it select that file uh, select that file and upload it over here and then you have to just do next next that is at the right bottom and you can just edit that file and this is all about how to add your contact list and nothing much else okay guys and in this way you are going to add subscribers directly we have learned how to sell email to others how to add subscribers now we have done so much now let us understand how to check the statistical thing and how to keep a check on the overview of what we are doing so in this video we are going to have a look over the overview and the stats so firstly what you need to do is to see your audience and to see your stats you have to click on this audience menu now you can see a option here that is manage audience i'll go in view contact or you can go in manage contact also and you can just click on overview now i'm going to have a overview see firstly what i did i went to audience after going in audience either i can view the contact or i can manage the contact if i'm going to view the contact then i'll click on overview in manage contacts also you will get it but i'll go through view contact and then i'll click on overview now see now the overview page has opened now let me little scroll down see firstly what you can see here is see the subscribers we have subscribed three people the non subscribers contact 
the unsubscribers and the clean contact i have said you the meaning of non subscribe contacts and the unsubscribe contacts in the last video see non subscribers are whom we don't want to send a regular email but they will receive a email when there is a transaction or if some ads are going on then unsubscribers they will not get anything and clean contacts we are cleaning our contacts and subscription is we are subscribing these contacts to a subscription list now we will you will get a check on how much uh, subscribe contacts are there non subscribe contacts are there unsubscribe contacts are there and clean contacts are there see if you click on this three you'll get a look who three are the persons who three are the email contact that they have subscribed to your subscription okay but we will not see if you want to have a look then you can just click on this three and then you can just have a look who are all the subscription people now you are getting your something called as audience performance now what is audience performance this is to have a average rate look upon see this is average open rate means the people who have opened your email see average open rate means the people the contacts who have actually opened your emails see if you are sending to 10000 people maybe half of them might open it or half of them might not even see it so you will get the average open rate for example 10000 if 5000 people have watched it then the number would be done here okay so average how many people has opened your contact has opened your email they you will see that rate over here now coming to average click rate average click rate means if you have given them any button a link or whatsoever in your email see in average open rate you will get to see how many people have actually opened your email and in average click click rate you will be able to see how many people have clicked to the button inside your email in the content you have given any or you have given any url you have given any link you have given any button they have clicked upon it and done the necessary action so you will get to see the average click rate obviously it is very much uh, you know common sense that average open rate would be more and average click rate would be less because after opening only anyone can click upon it after see in 1500 may open it and just 250 or 300 may click upon it so it is it goes like that so open rate is more and click rate is less now coming average subscribe rate and average unsubscribe rate you will get to know your that how many people the how many percent of people have subscribed to your channel how many people have unsubscribed you from there see you'll get to know your how many people after subscription have unsubscribed themselves so you will get a look on what is going wrong and is your campaign working is your this you know performance is your this this working whatever you are doing right now whatever offer you are doing right now what is subscription you are giving right now if they are unsubscribing from your this uh, performance from your this work then something is going wrong okay so you should always have a check that how many are actually subscribing and loving it and how many are unsubscribing themselves now we'll scroll down and see see your what you saw i'll repeat once again firstly we saw a overview how many people have subscribed themselves how many people have unsubscribed then how many non subscribed then how many cleaned contacts okay then you will get a audience performance where we'll get to see average open rate average click rate average subscribe rate average unsubscribe rate now moving down you will see something is audience performance see you will get to the know know the audience performance as you want like past 7 days you want to look at audience performance means what audience are taking actions what interaction what efforts are they doing for you then past 30 days past year if you want to uh, see if you have some removed some new campaign or removed some new thing like new service and in last 7 days then you can see just last 7 days from 30 days then 30 days and if you want to see the whole year's performance then you can just go and see the whole year's performance now we are moving down little and here you can see the subscribers see 
audience change you will see your and existing subscribers okay see this is the rate you can just come here and check upon what are your audience actually doing how much are they doing see here we had a change of three subscribers see first we had no subscribers okay we didn't had any audience okay now we are having a audience change see we are having a audience change okay so there we will see this purple color bar that is coming to three you had seen there up that we had three audience in our list so you can see this over here see the three number and three people have changed over here so how much you are going to go with it that we would see you now since last campaign you do you remember one thing first in manual adding subscribers i have added manually in a campaign i have not added them like that i have added them through a campaign okay i had shown you how to subscribe them in a campaign okay if you want to do normally then do you can just go in audience and go in list and subscribe them but i had created a campaign and in that campaign i had uh, added them so when i was creating any campaign then what was the performance and what how many were subscribed how many were unsubscribed and how many were cleaned so subscribe i see you will see this number unsubscribed and cleaned number so if you click on one you will be able to see who is that one and the details of that one email list so one email list is the subscribed one if you click on one you will be able to see the email list of that one see now here you can just come if you are going on with the campaign and just you can have a look over your last campaign details of your last campaign that is subscription unsubscription and cleaned ones now moving down scrolling down you will see the campaign performance that is open rate and click rate okay firstly open rate and click rate see we had not uh, we had not sent any we i showed you how to send an email but i had not sent an email so your hum seems there is no data to show because we had not actually sent it there so there was no performance there so moving on but you should go and see your that how many people have opened in your see above there you were able to see in your subscription who has opened it who has not opened it but here the people in your campaign that particular campaign only and the people who have sent email in that campaign who have opened it and who have not opened it and who have clicked it and who have not clicked it you will able to see the data over here of that campaign and above what we saw was not that campaign it was a subscription the whole subscription okay now moving down so there is difference between both now top email clients now what do you mean by top email clients and why is it necessary see for some special customers like some special customers are actually taking efforts are actually buying your product and are actually interested in your brand you can make a email list a separate email list of those uh you know of those clients and you can just add them here okay so you can make a different campaign you can make a different offer for those special customers like if you are giving others 50% discount then you give your 60% discount so you can give something extra to these people you can if the last date for them is 7 days you can make last date for them as 14 days so accordingly you can make the change over here so you can create more personal bond with the top customers and you can create more them as a long time customers so here you are going to make them as a top email clients here you are going to make different offers different uh, you know campaigns for special customers of yours so you can always be in a contact with them and you can build up on your relationship now coming down to let's come down and see okay now you would be able to see that is top locations if you go down then you would be able to see that is top locations now what why is the top location necessary and why top location is given here see 
if your campaign is for a certain area uh, or a certain area people are taking some efforts or if you see your product is interested in certain locality or anything like you want to give preference to some top locations only then you are going to add those email list in this top location so that your product would be accordingly sent to them your offers would be accordingly sent to them so top location is also a very necessary thing like for example a product may be for a certain area only or you know certain area is at the top of your or you know interest and in all of this so you can personally means you can set a different offer you can set a different product criteria for those people so in this way you can separate your uh, you know unique customers in top location top email list in this way you can create a differentiation you can create different offers for different people and accordingly this will help you to grow your business so in this video what we had done first we had gone to overview in what overview let us just see from top yeah firstly we had gone and seen the overview okay in overview what we did uh, what did we see that is subscription unsubscription non subscribe people clean contact if you click on this three you will be able to see the people who have subscribed their email list then coming down to audience performance average open rate average click rate average subscription rate average unsubscription rate then if you'll come down to audience growth the audience change and the existing subscribers you have to have a look over this and we had made a campaign where we had added one subscribers manually you will see the data over here that is one person subscriber zero unsubscribed clean subscribers and so on now coming to campaign performance if you are doing a campaign that is we had made a campaign but we had not actually sent if you see in the uh, two videos back then you would be able to see that we had manually added subscriber but i didn't send any email to them i had just shown you how to send it so here is no open rate no click rate so hum seems that there is no data to show because actually we had not sent them now coming down now you would be able to see that one minute okay top email clients and top email clients if you want to give if there are some special customers if you see some customers are actually interested in your brand then you can make their email list a separate email list and you can create different offers for them separately and create them as your long time potential customers now moving down down you have top locations if you if you want to put some email list into your top location specifically for some location then you can add your ad you can grow your business in this way we are going to use this website to grow our business we are going to see we are going to have a look upon overview and we are going to have and see how our business is growing and if a subscription if unsubscription is more than subscription and subscribers are less than unsubscribers then there is something going wrong with our work so we should make the appropriate changes because if unsubscribers are more then obviously people are not giving interest in our brand and we will not like it and it will create a negative marking so we will try to modify our you know website we will try to modify our offers our plans for them and then we'll try retry all these things and we will try to bring our subscribers more we'll make as many subscribers as possible and unsubscribers we are going to reduce them in this way through overview we can have a look over the stats and we can increase we can grow our business now in this video i want to firstly ask you a question that is have you opened any business email or any offer email anything like this then if you would open it then you would see at the first line it would be hi and your name like a b c d for example my hi archana then what do you think didn't you ever think like that then actually do they manually in every email they are putting your name and sending it to you personally no they are absolutely absolutely not going to do it then how is this being done 
so in this video i'm going to teach you that how are you going to make it more personal more appealing by sending an email to your customers with hi and their name and then starting your main content if you're putting something like personally like hi archana then it is putting more you know it is more attractive and it is more appealing and you know actually after that your customer will feel to open that email so let's just start and i'll teach you how to do it first most step is go to your mailchimp.com login in and then you will see this page after that you have to click on audience which will which you will see in the menu bar now coming down you will see view contact i am going to click on view contacts now after viewing this contact you will see your option called settings okay can you see settings over here you have to click on settings and do you see fourth option you have that is audience fields and merge tags okay now we are going to this okay audience fields and merge tags now coming down i'm scrolling it down you will see your a uh, full page okay there will be email address first name last name address phone number then required visible put tags into your contact default merge tags now i'll teach you what all this thing is all about okay starting with the first one that is field label and type okay you know in the box okay before typing something you will see inside something that is email address or whatsoever i am removing your address or you can keep address also there is no problem and you can just do it with it okay your email address then this is your first name see this will be your email id this will be in the text form this will also be in the text form this is phone this is address okay so these are all the things given to you this is the field label the label name which you will get see beside the box you are some you are seeing something that enter your email address enter your first name last name address phone number and then the box so these are all, all are things that you are going to see if you don't want your email address then remove address and only keep email but for now i am letting it be as email address only so the thing which you are seeing beside the block you know what you actually need to enter into that block is this thing that is field label it is the label of that column of that field okay now you have understood what is this field label and type means it is a email it is text text address and the type of content you are going to put into it that is given over here now coming your required and visible see required means it is necessary you know when you click on this required now for example i am going to click on this okay then you will see a star mark beside that block means it is necessarily important to put that detail if the customer your subscribers are not entering this detail then it would not be submitted for example for now as the email address is the most important thing okay so email address can you see your email address is already tick marked over here and if you are remove or uh, moving your cursor over here you are seeing a cross mark you are seeing it won't be able to default means you want to be able to unvisible it to you know it is required thing it is necessarily and in the settings of this website also they have made it permanently required and visible because we are working on email address only we are doing all this to increase our email list to send emails to people and if we un if we are removing this we are unticking it then it would be invisible that would this would be not required and for us this is the most important thing so it is automatically required so if you can't make changes over here so this thing is required as well as visible 
now moving on to the next one if you need first name last name if you want this has to be compulsorily added to your email to on your uh, submission form then you can just click in or click it upon it and what is this visible visible means this questions would be asked over there for example you want the phone number of your customer then you would click on this means the phone number would be visible on the page on your subscription page but if you're not clicking on this it won't be necessary to put it won't be necessary for your customer to give their phone number but if you click on this then it would be visible as well as it would be compulsorily required till it is not given the submit the submission would not be done so to submit the form it is necessarily to put all the information which is required and the star mark would be seen beside that so whichever thing whichever column is with the star mark it is important to add all those things now we are done with required and visible see i have told you so what is field label and type what is required means the things you compulsorily need and without it it won't be submitted and visible means see there is so many things given to you see you would see beneath date of birth and all those phone format and you know phone number address but it is not necessary for you to add all those things onto your sub uh, subscription page or onto your form so whatever you need like whatever you require you can just tick it that see if you need address you can tick on address so address would be seen in your submission form if you need uh, your you know date of birth if you need the customer's date of birth then just you can click on it so in this way you can just make the changes and design your submission or your subscription page also or whichever form may be may it be okay for now i am unticking all of this because i don't need it actually okay now coming on to the fourth column that is email or merge now how is this useful and why this thing is given you okay see have you see i had asked you a question in the starting of the video have you seen that hi and you know that thing that uh, you will you would be seeing that hi and all those things like hi and your name that is for example xyz then how do this come so it is done through here that is this see when you are selecting this thing and you are putting it there then in your email see when you are designing your email if you are selecting this and you are just pasting it there then this name over here would be seen there like whatever your name your customer puts as first name and last name would be seen there for example i am selecting this thing okay okay i am selected i have select selected this thing okay now i'll go on to that email page and i'm just going to paste this over here okay so i'm just going to paste this over there wherever my email page would be there okay so in this way you can just design it so whatever your name would be there it would be senior as hi whatever your name is and if you want to also put the surname that uh, the last name then you can just go back over here back to your website and you can select this also okay so there is no problem in doing that okay you can just select it and you can add it over here
okay in this way it would be designed automatically so do you think actually anyone is going to mandatorily put your name go open the email id and put email and put your name over there and send you no it doesn't work like that so what it is done it they just copy it over here they have an automatic system they just copy it over here and that is pasted over there so whatever in the name you your customer has added over here whatever the name they have put over here that would be seen over there for example what if you uh this you have not make it made it required like you have made only email address as the compulsory thing to put and not your first name and last name then what would it do then what will you put there will you put your email address over there no putting hi xyz at the rate gmail.com it would be very unprofessional way to do it so what you are going to do so you can put your see now comes the use of this column that is default merge tag value for example you are putting your as uh yeah dear yeah and last name as customer so in this way this is going to be used now so you can just select this again and you can paste it over there so when your customer see you have made it visible but you have not made it required so some customers will put their first name and last name and some customers will not put their first name and last name so those customers who have put their first name and last name for them when they receive a email they will see their first name and last name but for those customers who have not entered their first name and last name they will see dear customer hi dear customer and then thank you for subscribing to my channel or whatsoever okay made be then your uh, content follows but then in this way your email will work See guys I am repeating it once again see field label and type is the thing you will see beside the block in the form required things are compulsory things that you need without this the form wouldn't be sub, uh, submitted visible things what you want to enter what you want to put into your form this is used for this is the most important thing this is used for you know adding your name onto your email while sending you a email okay so you can just copy it and you can paste it over there and then the name your customer enters would be seen over there and what if your customer doesn't enter any name then you can put a default value that is dear customer and if you are not think if you don't you are asking only for the first name okay you are not asking for the last name then you can put dear customer over your only so in this way you can work upon it see guys you want to put hi and your customer's name then you have to copy it from your this thing from star to the star and then you have to paste it onto your email content and if you your customer has not put any email first name and last name they have not entered that value then you can put your dear customer or you can put dear in the first name in the last name you can put customer if you are not requiring if you have not if you keep invisible invisible the last name okay so in this way we are going to add a customer's name in the email address email in the email we are sending it to them so in this way it works no one is going to do it actually manually so in this way we can automatically copy it from here and paste it over there so it is so easy to do it guys even you have to try it because this is a very important thing because putting this thing you know designing your email i designing your email in this way is a very professional way and a very attractive way to do all of those things so try it and do it and it is very very easy just paste it or copy it from here and paste it over there from this star to this star you have to copy it and if you are keeping it not required then put a default thing over here if it is required then no need for this thing that is just what you have to do
Till now we had learned how to manually add subscribers, how to make a from a list, how to copy it and then add it onto your subscribers list. Uh, then we had learned in the last video how to, you know, before that we have seen how to overview who are subscribing, who are unsubscribing themselves. In the last video we had learned while sending an email how to copy their name, you know, automatically how to paste it there without manually doing all those things. But now we have not still designed a subscription page that is the subscription form. So, in this video, we are going to design our subscription form and we are going to do it on this website only that is MailChimp.com. Here we also have an option to design a subscription page and as when they will subscribe it, they will be added to our subscription list. Now, email list that is. Now, how we are going to do it? Don't worry guys, we will just start it now. It's very easy to do it. See, firstly you want to work with audience so we are going to click on audience and then click on view contact then in view contact you will see a menu and in the menu you will see an option here that is sign up forms we are going to click on sign up forms and then you are getting your different options like you know uh, form builder that is build design and translate sign up forms and response emails generate html code to embed on your site or block to collect sign up design a pop-up sign up from that can be embedded on your site form and then beneath you'll have form integration then you down have facebook form landing page sign up form but now we are going to work with that is form builder that is build design and build design and translate sign up form we are going to do it for response emails so we are going to do it this one we are going to select form builder so i'm selecting on it i have an option on the right hand that is select and i'm going to select this form builder option now in form builder i am going to actually start designing my email that is designing my sign up form to get to create a email list firstly forms and response emails now which type and what i want to create that is sign up form sign up form with alerts and unsubscribe forms update profile so many options i am getting here now but i'll keep it to sign up form only because we are now working with sign up form okay now moving down i'll see go there i am having your sign up form url now this is the url that is we are going to use it when we will click on this a link we are going to that is our customers will open this sign up form okay we can share share it over facebook twitter and also qr what do you mean by qr this is the qr code that when your customer or uh, you know uh, when your customer scans this qr code automatically this form is going to be opened okay we'll work on this later we'll come again to this topic later but now let us just move little down and see about our sign up form now when you are designing you have three parts with your form builder that is building your form that is build it design it and translate it build it means what you are going to add what all things you are going to some manipulation with the options and all those things designing it means all the fonts color and you know the overall look how it is actually going to look onto a real website and translate it means translating the language of it okay first we'll move with build it so firstly can you see i have given you the name that is tasty tongue you can edit it you can remove it and you can use image if you want to use image of your logo means image means if you want to add your logo or your campaign photo whatsoever you want to add you can add it over here by just use image click it on use image and then my files go into my files and select it but now i'm not selecting it i'm just leaving it as it is okay and then 
we will get an option where we have to actually manipulate and work on it and now we are going to start doing it okay see now this is our main page where we are going to work okay firstly you can see your that is add a field and field settings add a field means if you want to add something extra okay see here there here they have given a normal sign up form okay uh, like your email address first name last name address but you want to add something extra like date of birth then you know your zip code then all these check boxes then phone number and all those things okay then you can just add it by just clicking on upon it and dragging it over here okay now firstly if i want to give a message click to add a message if i want to give a message for example i'll click on edit over here i'll give a message okay that is uh, hmm. kindly fill the form to subscribe kindly fill the form to subscribe okay okay so there was a spelling mistake i have rectified it so this is the message which i want to give to my audience okay so i have written it kindly fill the form to subscribe now i'll save and close it so this thing would be added over here see can you see here so in the form firstly they'll be able to see the message given by me to them if i want to change the font size and all those things i have the option over here i can do it but i'll not do it i'll leave it as it is now coming on to the email address okay now as you click on email address it changes from add a field to field settings because we are moving on to the field now and you are going to work on the settings of it Firstly, field type is email and field label is email address. If you don't want address, you can just remove address from here. You can only keep email or you can keep email address the entire thing. The field tag you had seen in the last video, we had just done what is field tag and required field. It is a required field. You cannot undo this option. Then field visibility that is visible. Hidden means this won't be seen means this option would be removed from your form so you can't hide this option because this is a very important thing because we are working to increase the email list so we want the email list or so we want the email address of our customers so it is very important we are not going to undo it and we can't undo it also now help text see for sometimes uh, for example if you are giving some you know username enter your username or anything else then you have to put their help like eight characters or uh, maybe eight characters one special character whatsoever a guideline which you want to give them which will be see if you are giving any guideline bef beneath this box you will see your a guideline okay so if you are giving any guideline or help text over here you would be see this below this box okay so this is all about help text now we are done with email address see what an email address we had done is field type it is email this is the label this is the tag and this is the required field visible because this we are going to add in a form if we do it hidden it would be removed from our form help tech if you want to give any special guidelines for your customer to make the process simple and then save the field now coming on to first name okay that is field label is first name then if you want it required compulsory then make it required if you don't want this make it hidden okay if you don't want it make it hidden but i want it because it is necessary i'll make it visible and i'll also make it required field if you don't want it then just undo it untick it then it would be removed from the required field now coming on to just scrolling it down wait okay now scrolling it up you can see 
help text but in first name you don't need any help text if you're putting something extra like if you're putting uh, write five important things if you are giving them a choice to choose the courses the four uh, you know a choice to select the interest or their hobbies you can write there uh, add enter five uh, five top hobbies of yours so you can give a a help text to them a guideline to them but in this thing first name last name and in this form we don't need this help text we leave it as it is now default merge tag do you remember we had done this in the last video that we are going to put this name that is this first name in our email that you are going to send them so what if we have see we have made it not required so if the customer don't put the first name then too it would be submitted then what would we put in the email that you are going to send them that we can put your dear and we can put in the last name customer okay so this would be pasted over there but if we don't want to put it in the, into the last name we can put it over here only that is uh, dear customer so it's done okay so what we had seen over here that we are making it visible that we that is we want it into our form we are making it required also we can undo it and untick it and we are putting the default merge tag if the customer don't put the first name then what while sending email then dear customer would be sent to them and so with last name same after doing it you can just copy it now can you see here in address you are seeing something that is hidden and there is a background behind there because can you see here it is hidden over here see if i do it visible and i save field okay see now it would be removed from this thing can you see it is normal like it is yeah it is normal like the other fields because I have removed it from hidden and done it visible. If I click on hidden, then this field won't be seen in my form. Okay, I don't need this, uh, you know, address. So I am making it hidden only. I just, oh, sorry, I made this one hidden. I'll make this one visible. Save field and I'll make this one as hidden. Okay. So I have made address as hidden because I don't think it's necessary. But if you are putting, you know, you need the location of your customer. If your product is for some customer, your offers are for some location, then you can make this as visible. But for now, I am leaving it as hidden only. And moving down, you have phone number, you have birth date. You know, phone number is also hidden. We don't need it for now. Birth date, if you click on birth date, then you can see a tag over here that is visible you know you have a date format over here that is mm dd dd mm you know in uh, according to this is mm is month and date or uh, if you go in american way then month comes first then date date but according to, uh, if you go uh, if your customers your audience are of europe european then you have to select date then month okay for now i am leaving it as month and date only okay if american audience then month then date if european audience then date then month so it is easier and it is clear i think so so all this we have done with designing with building our sign up form so we have built it now we are moving on to designing it now you can design the page you can design the background okay firstly page will go to background okay background means the color which i'm able to see it over here okay this color this background color i can change it okay see if you are having a specific brand and your brand has a specific color then you can use that color here also okay so no need to worry about it but if you are working with uh you know if you want something different color i if nothing such special i'll always tell you guys to keep a very mild color to keep a very you know not so harsh color we'll keep a normal light color and yeah that this is good 
so we'll keep this color let it be this color only so now you can edit over things over here that is you can just edit you know this upper things then you can edit the background then you can edit you know the header that is this you can change it you can change the size you can change the height like a uh, line height then margin bottom margin top you can change it then you can outer wrapper is the hold you know this outer wrapper is this thing you can change it then forms that is the inside one the inside color you have chosen then the body the inside content you can just select it you know you have a lot to customize over here it all depends on your choice and your thinking and in which way you want to design it so you can just take any one of it and you can just design it however you want it now coming now we have done with designing it now moving up and we are going to translate it now what do you mean by translate it if you click on auto translate then when your customer the language of this form would be according to the location of the customer for example uh, your customer uh, you know is in america then it would change accordingly but if your customer in india is in you know some different like karnataka if you take a example of india then if it is in karnataka then it would change in the accordingly kannad language so accordingly your language is going to change according to the location of the customer where he is opening this uh, web uh, where is opening this sign up form okay so you can click on auto translate also to automatically translate it but is this for some newsletter or some particular thing then it's better that you keep it into english only okay now we are done with it now i'm telling you we have done we have built it we have designed it we have translated it so we have all done all the three parts of it like building it designing it and translating it now we are moving on to in the starting of the video i had said you that we are going to use this it so i am control plus c or you can just right click and right click it and copy it so what if you open this thing into a new tab i'll paste it okay now we'll see what happens when you open this thing into a new tab can you see your the things we had added over here we had removed see i had kept it into the month date format last name first name email address kindly fill the form to subscribe and the thing the background color we had kept and when the form is filled i'll click on it and it would be subscribed okay so it is all done as soon as the uh, customer is going to click on this subscribe it would be subscribed into my chan into my subscription list so it would be added into my subscription list this is all about doing you know designing building and translating your sign up form in this video we are going to learn how to create a campaign and how to send a email to all your subscribers now you can send a, you can create a campaign and you can send it to different ways but here i'll tell you a way that is click on campaign over here that is in the menu section then after that you have to create campaign see we have not we have created campaign see firstly we had in the last video i have created a new campaign called a campaign so i have created it but now we'll just click on create campaign okay and then we want to create email campaign we have to send them to ad landing page survey whatsoever may may to be but i'll click on email because in this video we are going to stress more upon email campaign name you can give it again i'll give it new campaign or i can give some different name also that may be mm, yeah um uh, announcement i'll give it announcement okay i am just giving any random i have not kept any link with anything i am just giving anything randomly 
okay just a dummy thing i am creating just for your understanding and a better understanding for you guys so i am just adding any images any text i am writing but i am trying my best to give you the best so in this way you will understand see don't go on my images and my whatever i have written i have just done it a dummy site over here okay now add recipients all subscriber contacts in the audience tasty tongue pre recipient your to field is now not personalized with merge tags we'll edit it first okay to audience segment or tag in segment of tag we have to select do you want to send to a particular segment only see in segment also you can make a create a campaign but there you have to go personally in that thing and you have to send it but here you can directly go and send it but now i'll go all subscribers in audience and who is it tasty tongue that you know in tasty tongue i had created three subscribers so they only i'll keep them only personalize the two field add merge tag to display your recipient's name to make it more personal okay so you had learned over there you know fields and merge tags in that video i had said you that to make it more personalized you want to add some you know hi archana then it gives more personal you know message so i am going to click upon it and merge select i am going to keep the first name and first name and last name is also okay i'll keep first name and last name and i'm going to save this thing okay firstly i have kept all subscribers then i had done with this edit form from who we are giving it so we are giving it you can edit this now coming on to the subject now coming on to the subject you have subject and a preview text see on the right hand side here you can see some guidelines you should always go through these guidelines that try to use no more than nine words try to use no more than one emoji and all of these things when we were creating our email it was similar to this okay now whatever you want to write okay subject uh, for announcement of offer for example i am putting your announcement for offer okay you can just and your exciting offer for you you i'll just uh you know correct it exciting offers for you okay if you want to add a emoji you can just add it i'll save it and then moving down we are going to create a email design uh, while creating a email also we had learned about it we'll go in design email and there we are going to actually create a design for our email okay here you can choose templates here you can choose any theme you know a layout whatsoever but according to your own see now i have uh, see i have said that announcement so make an announcement then i'll select the theme layout appropriately now i can't select sell product now i can't select tell a story follow up no i have to select this one only in themes also if i go i'll select the appropriate one that will help me to make an announcement save templates which template we had made earlier okay these were the dummy templates we had made earlier okay campaigns if if we have done any earlier campaign then here but we have not done it okay code your own if you want to code your own template you want to create a content of your own then you can just do it from here but now i am not uploading anything over here because you know how to edit it after selecting selecting on it you can click on it on the right side a box will open where you can just edit with it and manipulate certain things and can make it attractive now coming down share your campaign if you want to share your campaign you have to just copy this and paste it where you want 
if you want to edit it you can edit the url but it is a paid version so we are not going to click on it we leave it as it is but if you want to edit your url you don't like this url then you can just do it from there and if you want to connect it to facebook means you want to uh, you know the content which we have created you want to upload it on facebook twitter instagram then you have to connect your facebook over here connect twitter connect instagram to this you know website and then you can just share it over there also and after finishing you have to click on send now i have not done it completely so i can't send it but after doing all this thing i am just going to click on send so in this way we are going to create you know a campaign email campaign and we'll send it through email now you can create a campaign you can send it through ad post there are so many options so you can just go it through there already there are tem templates you have to just click it drag and drop certain things you know remove certain content add your own, own content remove an image add your add your image and now i do think so that you can all guys do it because it is very very easy firstly onto your menu you have to click on campaigns then in campaigns you have to go and click on create campaigns and then you have to select see you have to click on create campaign then to from content subject line then your footer you want to design if you want to share it onto facebook you want to share it through url you can just copy it and then you have to just send it you do you want to send to all subscribers do you want to send it to you know some or uh, group people or do you want to send a segment of your sub subscribers then you can accordingly do it so it is so easy to do it so i'll tell you guys to just try it once again i'm telling go into campaigns create and uh, you know create or uh, click on emails and then uh, click on create campaigns do it design it if you want to take a ready-made template do it and click on that ready-made template and upload it it is very easy do try it